Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, you'll see the most incredible animal births captured on camera in today's hour-long episode. You'll see processes on land and underwater. You will see which animals lay huge eggs, which animals give birth to millions of babies and which animals can create real mutants. During this video, I'll show you how babies are born and how animals rebirth by shedding their skin. It's definitely worth watching, so sit back, relax, and enjoy it. Births of animals that give you goosebumps. Sometimes it starts with a fight even before he comes out. And this how this zebra started the reborn. In general, zebras does not have an easy life as you can see. The pregnancy period for zebras is 11 to 13 months, depending on the species. And the newborn on average weighs between 25 to 50 pounds. Another info that not much people know. Their stripes are unique to each individual, just like human fingerprints. Sometimes life begins with a fall from a height. This is how giraffe are born a baby literally falls out from almost 2 meters height. The newborn are up to 180 centimeters feet tall, which is about the same height as an average European male. And he should stand up as fast as possible so that he can avoid predators in the wild. The next are rabbits. The gestation period for rabbits is typically 31 to 33 days. The average litter size for rabbits is 5 to 8 kits, but it can reach up to 12. These tiny little hairballs typically weigh about 1 to 2 ounces, which means 28 to 56 grams. This is about the same weight as a walnut, but they will gain weight rapidly in the first few weeks of life. Stingray litter size is 2 to 6 pups, but it can range up to 15. The gestation period for stingrays is between 4 to 12 months, and they give birth to live young, which are born fully developed and able to swim and fend for themselves. The babies are called pups. They are born with a small spine on their tail, which they use for protection, because the mother does not provide that unlike mammals, they are independent from birth. Giant pandas give birth to a single cub, or rarely twins, after a gestation period of 95 to 160 days. The cub is born blind and helpless. It's pretty ironic as the panda is known for being giant. But the cub weighs only about 90 to 130 grams. The mother panda will lick the cub clean and help it to nurse. The cub will stay with its mother for the first 18 months of its life and will be fully weaned at around 6 months old. The next animal on our list is the elephant, another animal that starts life with a fall from almost 3 feet. The baby relies on his mother until he's 6 years old. If you think this is a long period for an animal, well, it's not that long considering she was pregnant for two years, and it's the longest gestation period of any land mammal. When an elephant is ready to give birth, she will typically seek out a secluded area where she can feel safe. But usually she becomes really protective. The birth itself usually takes place within a few hours, and the calf is typically born head first. The newborn calf weighs between 200 and 300 pounds, and it is about 3 feet tall. Seahorses are unique animals, because the male is the one who plays the main role and gives birth. The female seahorse will deposit her eggs into a poach on the male's stomach, where he fertilizes them and incubates them for about 40 to 50 days. When the babies are ready to be born, the male seahorse will go into labor and give birth to hundreds of tiny seahorses. By pushing them out sometimes seems like a cannon, by the way there can be a lot of babies, and they are usually born fully developed and able to swim and fend for themselves. The common Suriname toad, also known as the Peeper Peeper, is a unique amphibian that gives birth to its young through its back. Imagine how unique is that? These unique frogs have something in common with the seahorses as the female toad lays her eggs on the male's back. During mating, the female presses the eggs on the back of the male, what makes it look like an underwater dance and it can reach up to 150 eggs attached to its back. By the way, the female can hold the eggs too. After about 12 to 20 weeks, the gestation period comes to an end and the baby starts to come out of the back. 
The view are unusual and can be interesting for some, but it might not be pleasant for others. Dolphins are amazing creatures, and their births are just as amazing. The pregnancy period for dolphins is about 12 months. When it's ready to give birth, she will typically swim to a shallow area of water. The birth itself is usually quick and easy, and the calf is born tail first. The baby dolphin is born with its eyes open and its body covered in a thick layer of blubber to keep him warm. For the first six months, the mother will take care of the baby, so he can learn to swim and hunt, and usually the mom gets help from other members as dolphins are social. Joel Yellow Headfish A small freshwater fish found in Southeast Asia. The gestation period for this creature is about four months. When she is ready to give birth, she will usually find a safe place to hide. After birth, the male carries the eggs inside his mouth. When the time comes, he opens his mouth and begins producing up to 50 new babies. And the next one on the list is ostrich. The gestation period for ostriches is about 42 to 45 days. After finding a safe place, the female lays up to 60 eggs depends on the species. Then the male take care of it for a while and then the female take her turn. Just to keep in mind, the male usually have several females, but the main one who lays eggs. The ostrich eggs are the biggest, with 21 centimeters long and can weigh almost 2 kilograms. Lizards Well, this time it's a bit different. Why? Because the process of giving birth varies depending on the species of lizard. Some lizards lay eggs, while others give birth. The gestation period for lizards can range from a few weeks to several months. When a lizard is ready to give birth, she will find a safe place. Usually may dig a burrow or find a secluded spot under a rock or log. After the birth, the mother lizard may stay with her young for a few days or weeks to help them learn how to find food and avoid predators. However, most lizards are independent from birth, and some lizards, such as the whiptail lizards, can reproduce without mating. This process is called parthenogenesis. The following huge eggs belong to a large lizard called Komodo dragon. These giant lizards can lay eggs and eat them too. It doesn't matter which eggs they eat, bird eggs, snake eggs, turtle eggs, they even eat other lizards' eggs. The gestation period is about 8 months. The newborn are independent from birth and do not receive any parental care from their mother. But they are born with a yolk sac that provides them with nutrients for the first few days of their life. They are also born with a venomous bite that can be fatal to their prey. The Komodo dragon eggs are 10 centimeters long and can weigh up to over 200 grams. The hatchlings are about 20 inches long and weigh about 1 pound. Lazildorides polycospilatus, or the Peruvian blunt tarantula, a large spider found in the Andes Mountains of Peru. When a Peruvian blunt tarantula is ready to molt, it will stop eating and replace its old exoskeleton with a new one. This process is called ectesis, and is how all spiders grow. After it molts, it will be very soft and vulnerable for a few days. During this time, the spider will not be able to eat or defend itself. However, it will quickly harden and grow new hairs. These spiders are around 6 inches long, and can live up to 20 years. Our last animal on the list is the hamster. This tiny cute creatures can grow up fast after being born, around 6 weeks old they can start breeding. The gestation period for hamsters is about 16 to 18 days, and they give birth to litters of 4 to 12 pups, but they can sometimes give birth to as many as 20 pups. Another thing is if you see these little creatures eating their pups, it is normal for them. Scientists say it may be due to stress, not having enough food, or just not having a maternal instinct to take care of their young. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment below tell us which animal surprised you. See you soon.